Developments on Wayne County's financial future. Today, commissioners forced to pick one of four options to deal with the county's financial emergency. 7 Action News reporter Anu Prakash is live downtown with details on their big decision. Anu? Hi there, Carolyn. Well, this came down to a 12 to 2 vote in favor of a consent agreement, but when you talk to a lot of these commissioners, they feel like it was really their only option. It's going to be a disaster um, for my members. Joyce Ivory has worked for Wayne County almost 30 years and is now president of AFSCME Local 1659. She worries what a consent agreement could mean for county workers. We haven't had a raise in over 10 years, and we're consistently giving concessions. My members can be at well over 30, 40 percent of their pay. This morning, in a 12 to 2 vote, Wayne County commissioners selected a consent agreement as the best way to deal with the county's financial emergency a $52 million structural deficit. Chairman Gary Warrenchek says all their options were bad, but sees a consent agreement as having the best shot at success. There's a danger that if we don't follow a consent agreement that we put together, that uh, the state treasurer could uh, declare a breach and impose an emergency manager, but it's going to take all sides working together to make sure that we don't. And um, hopefully we can uh, do this in as, uh, as quick and a, an effective method as possible. Wayne County Executive Warren Evans has been pushing for a consent agreement, saying it was the only rational option. It's very, very important. It, it looks like Wayne County has a team that's moving toward fixing these problems, and hopefully in a relatively short period of time, months, less than a year, uh, we're in a position where people can look back and say, we're on a different footing. The consent agreement gives Evans power to impose terms on union contracts, but he says he is committed to negotiations. I don't want um, to ever have to use an additional power other than the power of persuasion and negotiation. And so uh, hopefully we'll get those deals done. We've got it done with one union. Um, there's no reason to think we can't do it with the others. As for what's next, the county commissioners have to approve a consent agreement document 30 days from today, but it's very possible that that can happen much sooner, perhaps within the next two weeks, since they have been in negotiations for some time now and they've already been working on some draft language. Reporting live in downtown Detroit, Anu Prakash, 7 Action News. All right, thank you much, Anu.